Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with a bit of a different video today. Today I have the opportunity to share with you um, the rotating stamp platform from Craft Stash and this is it here which it's honestly it's so cool and then we have these beautiful sort of layer and stencils which work with this. Um, also these stencil headers, I'm, obviously I'm going to show you them all but these <clears throat> you would attach them to any stencils that you might already have uh, enabling you to use it with this platform <clears throat> so we're going to do that and then i've got some really sweet little stamps as well that are perfect for the rotating platform and um, this is the kind of thing that I'll just quickly show you then what I was playing around with um, some stars so we're going to make some stuff now the platform this lifts off completely it's got all your measurements on there you also get two magnets with it uh, this is magnetic so you need to pull this quite firmly and it's very strong and it just rotates round for if you want to you know whatever you're going to stamp so if you're doing like making a wreath or on a card or whatever you don't really need these i think these are more if you're going to use stencils actually so yeah let's do a stencil first then we'll do i'll show you how you would use this so you get all the stencils to make that beautiful design now, as you can see here, it has this along the top, which fits in to the platform. So there's no moving around. It's perfect. You know exactly where it is. And then obviously you would come along with your next piece. Again, it all slots in. So there's no guesswork. You know exactly where you're inking and stamp um, stenciling and so on. So grab some card all right so i've just got a piece of um <clears throat> six by six card this is the craft stash um super smooth it is super smooth as well it's really nice 300 is it 300 gsm yeah so you would i will start off with this piece of the stencil which would be the base sort of layer of the flower so just pop that on there and then you can sort of you can still see your card underneath so you're going to know where you you want it now i want i want to put the butterflies on as well so i need to be mindful of where they're gonna go just check that it's not going off the card so i think i better move it down up i mean move it up a little bit and there is measurements all along as well <clears throat> up and down so it's really good for stuff like this and this is when you can use your magnets to keep keep it in place so i think that should be good actually about there and i can put the whole them down on there so just a case of picking the colour ink you're going to use, what ink you choose. I'm going to go for three different shades, spun sugar, picked raspberry, kitsch flamingo, which are all distress oxides. So I'm going to start with the lightest, which is spun sugar. I'm just going to load some ink on a blender and then I'm just gonna ink over this so that's the first one done then I'm gonna go in with the next layer As you can see, that's all ready to 
ink so I've kept one underneath the card and I've got one on the top so the stencil doesn't move then I'll go in with Kitsch Flamingo and I'm just going to use a little dabber actually so you're just going to dab this in Then I'm going to go in, is that the right way? I hope I'm not using them the wrong way. We're going to, yes, go in with the picked raspberry, which is darker. Isn't that so pretty? Now I can do my little butterflies, so I actually this one will do the leaves as well. So if I put that back to there, it will put the leaves in for me as well. So I'll have that one there. And then you can do your butterflies at the same time. So go for a green for the leaves. that so we've got our lovely leaves and then we've got the last one which will do our wrong way around no, is it not so right there? oh yes it's because there's more leaves this will do our more leaves, the little veins and the little butterflies. So I'm going to go in with faded jeans. This is an archival. And that will just give you a nice sort of darker colour on the butterfly. But of course use whatever you've got. There we go. Now let's have a look. Isn't that so pretty? That's really just a, an instant card, isn't it? So we'll, we'll make that into a card in a bit. So <clears throat> we've got them, but as I said, if you have sort of any other stencils, what, what, you know, whatever stencils you've got, let me grab one here. So, Right, so I found a stencil. This is obviously my own stencil, you know, different brand, but I just want to show you that you can use it with uh, other stencils. So where did I put the little ends? I'm such a messy crafter, it is ridiculous. I never put anything away. <laughs> right, so attach header to own stencil using double-sided tape to hold it into place. They're all the same as well. It's not like the different, um, you know, designs. It's basically so that that will slot, you know, hold into there. So here we have stencil here. You would literally just tape that to there. So you would get that. Get your tape. And just tape obviously bear in mind you don't want to be taping over your little doodars because then you're not gonna be able to use it so 
you would just tape it down and then it just basically allows you to use whatever stencil you have now like you know layering ones which I don't really think I have any actually other than the one that I have with this beautiful bouquet and butterflies one um, so yes you can easily do that with your own stencils and make your own different patterns and etc so yes that is very very pretty so we will do some of the stamping with this because it's uh, honestly this is brilliant and it can also be a general stamping plate because it has them um, that sort of spring on it as well so you know you could just use it for a quick you've got it out you want to stamp a quick sentiment just put your card in and you can take this off and stamp and it'll always be in the correct place so we'll do some stamping all right so with this one i use the floral circle stamp so we're going to use them again but this time i'm going to put two flowers in because i only put one in so what you would do is this is roughly a six by six card it might be one eighth of an inch i would say five and seven eighths square so take this off and because the card is this this would be a, your sizes so if you were using an eight eight inch card you would put it on eight seven and so on so mine is six but it's nearly six so i'm just going to slightly just move it away from the six inch line just because it's slightly smaller than a six okay and you're going to put your dial on now don't worry it doesn't ruin your card or leave an imprint or anything you you wouldn't even know it was there so i can see from the platform that's what it's going to be so i'm going to pick my two stamps yeah i'm going to go for two different ones this time because i used that one the first time now <clears throat> what you're going to do is sort of decide whether now you could have them at the full six inch width of the card so you see six inches and you would see these dotted lines that's sort of where it would start to come around but I think that's a bit high so I'm probably going to go down to five yeah I'm going to have it at five now if I was just using this stamp like this you can see these two black lines here because it fits in this section and it's 30 degrees okay and 30 degrees means I would stamp it 12 times rotating it stamping and then what you would do with your dial is you would stamp and then you would move it round to the 30 degrees again stamp 30 30 and so on but I want to have two stamps this time I'm going to have two together so now it's looking like I'm getting them in here so the, the fit in here so it would be 60 degrees which would be stamped six times okay so yeah I'm going to take them off and I'm going to put them in between them 60 lines try and get them the same height just so they look they don't look odd and this would be stamped round six times so I'm going to use what did I use what colour yeah I'm going to use picked raspberry this is an archival and you could do them two different colours if you wanted to so just ink them up make sure it goes in the little springy grooves and then press them down and you can see how they stamp there so you're going to take this off because you'll need to re-ink it and it was 60 degrees that we were doing so I'm going to move this dial 
around till I come to 60 degrees again which is there so ink them up again you can see there it does sort of so it does all the work for you really so then again I'm going to keep going round till I get to 60 again oh, just realized that didn't stand it's okay I'm just showing you how you would do it and then again move it round again so there's a 60 in there which would be right and just keep doing this move again to 60 and again these would be the last there we go now what else you could do with these stamps is i'm going to take it back to the beginning which is the arrow okay and then for example these stamps come with the bit that would color them in so what what you would do here is if you wanted to have the stamps a color is wrong stamp this one and this one so because it's all clear easy for you to see so you would take the pieces that color it in and it's just a case of lining it up with the stamp might take a couple of spins around but you will find it i hope this is the right one yeah so just there we go so i know that, that would fit there and then for this one again you would have to keep spinning it round till i find the right way which i think is there yes there we go So pop this back on, take these two off actually. So pop this on, pick them up and now you can ink in your colours. Now what am I going to use? I might use... A bit of this kitsch flamingo because it's a bit lighter just dab that on actually with a little dabber okay and you can also see as well You see now we've coloured those little stamps in and it would be exactly the same you would just keep going around to your 60 degree angle because that's how far we've got our space to part you would just keep going around like so so you can have or have all of your you know little flowers sort of colored in so that's that we're going to use we're going to try out some of the other stamps all right so this time i've gone for flying friends and we're going to use this stamp here 
which is all these beautiful little butterflies. So again, I've got a six by six card and I'm just going to sort of judge here where I want it actually just slightly under the six because I don't want, yeah, I don't want it to run off. So I'm going to put it in about there, which I'm going to say 60 degrees, but I want it pretty low down. Just so I want it under the six, which is across here. Yeah, that should be good. So I'm going to do two colours. I'm going to do uh, yellow and blue, which happens to be fossilised amber. So ink it up. Stamp. And again, I've got that on zero. Yep, that's good. Then I'm going to turn it to 60 because I was using 60. So 60. And this time I'm going to give it a little wipe and I'm going to stamp it with Mermaid Lagoon. Beautiful. So I'm going to rotate. I always rotate it before I ink it up because <laughs> I'm telling you this because I haven't and then I've just, you know, moved it off, inked it and I've done it again. So I always take it off then I rotate it again to 60. Then I put the fresh ink on. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm gonna, we will make it into card. I might put a nice sort of sentiment in the middle of that. So that is that. And then another thing you can do, just bear with. Right, so another thing you can do is I've got a, again, this is just a, a six by six card so say you wanted something fancy for the inside of your card so what you would do is you would take this up to that little sort of triangly notch there and you would just put it up like that and you can use your your magnets if you want to um let's see yeah i'm going to try these beautiful little hearts so what you can do is just take the stamp and then say, just place it somewhere like that. Pop the top on, pick your stamp up. So have a pink, pick some ink.
again. Stamp it. As you notice you don't need re really need that for this one. And then you're basically just going to ro rotate it round. Again, if you want to use the magnet. Ink your stamp again. I think you get the picture here. They'll all be level, they'll all be in the correct place because sometimes, you know, we, we don't always get them right and sometimes you think, oh, that just spoils it, but you don't have to worry about that with this. Again, just rotate around. And you've got a really fancy sort of inside for, you know, a card. So, yes, this is brilliant. Absolutely love this. And as I said, if you've got any of your own stencils, you know, just use what you have. As long as you've got the little stencil headers, you get a pack of 10 um, and you can use whatever stencils you might already have. So let me just quickly knock these into a couple of cards and I'll show you what they're like. All right, so I just put made these into a couple of cards. That butterfly is beautiful. Love that one. Just a two inch circle in the middle with enjoy the little things, which is a friendship sentiments and the lovely stencil again i use that same stamp there this one i decided to stamp the butterflies in the middle but then realized i'd done them in the wrong color i thought it was the same color as that but never mind so yes i'll put all the links below if you do decide to purchase any of them um please use the links below uh, it just helps me get a little bit extra without any charge to you so yes i hope you've enjoyed them um great little thing this and i will be back again soon with another video so thanks for watching take care and bye for now